let us see about vorticity and circulation in this video and we will also see what is the difference between vorticity and circulation firstly coming to vorticity it indicates whether a particle is rotating or not angular velocity is in general use and vorticity in fluid mechanics what it is saying is that in general use we say that angular velocity and uh, in fluid mechanics we say it as vorticity angular velocity is the one in which a particle moves certain to a certain angle so if this is the particle angular velocity is about a point the angular velocity is stated so about this point if the particle moves to this position so this if this is theta and theta by t this is called as angular velocity about this point so what is vorticity vorticity is angular velocity two times of angular velocity about its center about its uh, center of mass uh, an axis will be passing about that axis this uh, angular velocity multiplied by 2 gives us vorticity so that is vorticity and uh, this vorticity is represented with omega this is capital omega so mathematically vorticity is twice the angular velocity of particle about its own axis so angular velocity may be uh, about any point but angular velocity about its about its centroidal axis will give us vorticity so this angular velocity sorry vorticity is equal to two times of angular velocity we have seen that angular velocity is equal to half into i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y and dou by dou z u v w so in vector calculus this is equal to half into curl of velocity so this is this gives us the angular velocity in vector calculus we will study about this this is angular velocity so 2 into 1 by 2 into del cross v this is del operator del cross v so 2 2 gets cancelled and curl of velocity gives us vorticity this is also a vector so vorticity is curl of velocity curl of velocity vector is vorticity so we differentiate uh, rotational flow and irrotational flow with respect to this one if vorticity exists then it is rotational flow then that is called as rotational if vorticity does not exist or if it is equal to zero zero i cap 0 j cap then it is irrotational so if it is not equal to 0 then it is rotational if it is equal to 0 then it is irrotational so for example vorticity is equal to 2 into omega if we consider this uh, omega uh, about z z axis which means if this is x this is y and this is z this particle is rotating in x y plane and uh, this omega z gives us it is rotating with respect to z axis so omega z gives us so 2 into omega z is 1 by 2 into in this dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y so which is equal to dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y is the vorticity about z and next is circulation so vorticity is about its center and in circulation we will see what is the difference between them line integral of tangential velocity component it is defined as circulation is defined as line integral of tangential velocity component circulation or it can also be defined as circulation around a closed contour is sum of vorticity enclosed within it we will understand with this example i am taking a fluid element suppose fluid is flowing in this and i have taken
I have taken this fluid element. So in this fluid element, I will be having velocities u and v at this origin. If this is delta x, and u is function of u is a function of x comma y, and v is also function of x comma y. So if here it is u, here it will be u plus del u by del x into delta x, and here. As it is a function of x, this v also changes. V plus del v by del x into delta x. Here, uh, u plus del u by del y into delta y. V plus del v by del y into delta y. So these are the velocities at each corners and. Uh, what is the definition of circulation circulation is line integral of tangential velocity component so what is line integral of tangential velocity component circulation is represented with gamma this is capital gamma so circulation is equal to line integral so i am taking this as anti clockwise line integral of tangential velocity component so v into ds so this is the definition in this case in this example you can see for uh, anti clockwise as uh, this is a differential element this one is differential element so i am taking d gamma is equal to so this is u into in the direction we have delta x so u into delta x since i am taking it as anti clockwise this will be in anti clockwise only so this is positive so this one here we do not consider this because it has no distance in that direction and here we have this is also in anti clockwise so this will be plus v plus del v by del x into delta x and the distance is this is delta y so into delta y and next this uh, velocity we do not consider because it does not have any displacement in that direction and we consider this one so uh, this is anti clock uh, sorry clockwise direction so we are taking minus minus u plus do u del u by del y into delta y into so it has a distance delta x so into delta x and next there is another one another velocity v so that is also clockwise so minus v into that distance is delta y so if i simplify this u into delta x minus sorry plus v into delta y plus del v by del x into delta x into delta y minus u into delta x minus del u by del y into delta y into delta x minus v into delta y so u delta x minus u delta x v delta y minus v delta y gets cancelled and the remaining is del u by del x minus del u by del y sorry this is del v del v by del x minus del u by del y into delta x into delta y so this del v by del x minus del u by del y so this is omega z omega z into delta x into delta y so we can see that this omega z into this delta x delta y is the differential area so this is a uh, differential fluid element so that is differential area delta x into delta y so we have got that circulation is equal to cyclic integral over a closed contour is equal to this is the differential uh, sorry this is the differential uh, circulation if we integrate it integrate omega z da this gives us the circulation circulation over uh, 
a contour area. So that will be the circulation. The physical significance is if we consider the particles. So this is the So I have done a mistake here. So this is equal to 2 into omega z. That is 2 into omega z. So here 2 into omega z. And we have seen that 2 into omega z is equal to circulation. Sorry, uh, vorticity. So we can write that integral of vorticity dA. So we have established a relation between circulation and vorticity. So we can write it as circulation is sum of vorticities in that area, sum of vorticities. So if uh, we consider this flow flowing in a pipe. And if we see the cross section view of the pipe, that will be in this way. So, vorticities will be in random directions this way, this way, this, this, this. So, vorticities will be in random directions. And uh, if the sum, if all the sum resultant is in this way. So, if all the sum of this uh, individual vertices is in this way, then we can say that vorticity is about the axis of each particle and the circulation is about the flow. So, if the particle is rotating about its own axis and uh, all the particles about its own axis and these fluid particles also rotate about the centroid of this pipe. So, cent uh, central axis of this pipe is this one and this fluid particles rotate about this axis. So that is called as circulation. So circulation, if circulation exists, the flow will be in this way. So the particles, uh, the all fluid particles rotate about the center of uh, gravity of uh, uh, central axis of the pipe. So that is circulation and uh, difference between circulation and vorticity. I think you have understood the difference between circulation and vorticity.